Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark here with another transmission from MechTech Keyboards and today we're talking macro pads. Now along the way I've been collecting macro pads, I'm really a big fan of them. Um, I will admit I did 3D print one to uh, hand wire and I started and I haven't finished it and it's one of those projects that every time I see where it's stored it just stares at me. Like, you finish me. I actually got a couple of projects with macro pads because I do enjoy them because it helps to have those extra keys in case you're working with a smaller form factor, um, limited space, and you know, they, they just come in handy. Especially, you know, when they're programmable. That's what I tend to go for. Anyway, sometimes you may be interested in a macro pad with a knob or Sometimes you may be interested in one that's wireless. So today let's talk about one that was sent to me by What Geek. We take a look at the Fecker JJK21. It is a three mode wireless numpad that comes with a knot. Um, it's got RGB, it's programmable, hot swappable. This one is the white color. And um, let's go ahead and open it up and check it out. So yeah, if I edited correctly, you should have seen me load up keycaps as well as switches. I put some Akko sponge in here that are already nice and looped. And I put on the number keys from MT3 Olivetti or Camellia. I recorded, I'm getting ready to switch out microphones and I accidentally deselected my microphone and didn't think to look at the peak meter at any point so half of my review or most of my review is actually gone anyway um for a wireless uh numpad i really like this it has i only took a quick look at the software because i'm right now i'm just going to be using it as i as i have it right now but it's fairly simple um uh, there isn't anything but one extra layer function layer uh, so but other than that it has all the functionality I need I'm using it over Bluetooth I have not tried the 2.4 but Bluetooth it connects right away like this device this is probably one of the quickest Bluetooth devices I've ever had paired too I am um, from when I first went to pair it the first time my computer saw it immediately and I'm on Linux and I clicked it and Almost as I was letting go of the click, it was re it stopped blinking and was ready to go, and it just uh, it just works. So yeah, you have the ability to, uh, to change things up to do different uh, when it's on numlock. You know, to do like the arrow keys. And, I mean, it's 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 already defined to the standards. Uh, insert page up, page down. So if you're somebody that some only on some occasion needs to use a macro pad um, especially if you're somebody on the go and you're using say a 60 or 65 percent obviously the case colors don't match but we've got the same colorway so in most keycap sets you have uh, the included numpad so as a companion you can use the keycaps that you've already got since this is bare bones and usually most of us most of us have an extra few switches so um the fact that you don't need another wire for this because I mean like this is the portico black label so obviously I need to plug this in because this is a wired keyboard but oh hey I need to do some data input too good to go so it's very convenient I do like that it has a um, round metal knob and this is not one of those like 
really cheap knobs it's actually got some substance to it it's got a little bit of weight and it's not a deem knob it's just a round knob but it works fine i wish that it had a little bit more room because uh, i have some bigger knobs that would fit on there but they'd start to rub on well what i've mapped to the escape key for right now as i said before i i like macro pads but unless the keyboard that i have has a knob on it i want it to have a knob because being able to just turn on and off the volume and you know obviously the knob feels different than keys so i don't even have to look somebody walks in to my office i can go ahead and just hit mute get to what i need to and then go back because i'm the type of person that likes to work with loud music in the background um so i'm switching out uh, i was using another wireless micro pad that but it didn't have the knob so i'm switching it out for this one but i'm also getting ready to look at another one from didoyo um, the company that does a megalodon so i may be switching for that one after i take a look at this one let's get technical today we are taking a look at the fecker jjk 21. it is a three mode 20 key macro pad that has a pc plate and gasket mount it is also quite well dampened the weight of this bare bone macro pad comes in at 233 grams while it weighs around 305 grams loaded with switches and keycaps. It does come with a 1500 milliamp hour battery. The chin of this keyboard sits at 20 millimeters above the surface while the back sits at 29 millimeters, providing for a default typing angle of seven degrees. This macro pad, MSRPs for $47.99 from whatgeek.com, which includes free worldwide shipping. The case is made out of ABS and it does include a metal knob. I'm just surmising and putting into more compressed content everything that I said before because I, I'm i changing out audio and I made the mistake of rambling on without the microphone catching it. So maybe you guys are the ones that are saved. Anyway, I I like this numpad, but I'm going to be get taking a look at the de doyo tomorrow. So, we'll see which one wins out. I will be doing I've got enough now that I can do a macro pad uh, comparison video which I plan to do probably near the end of the month um, so if you guys are shopping for one and you're not in a hurry perhaps wait for that one so you can so I can do a comparison of the features which ones you know right. having a I've used macro pads for some time but wired and I've only just recently started doing, using wireless and I find they are so convenient because I don't have to have it next to my keyboard I can have it in a different spot that's easy to reach. So, um, and the fact that they can be programmed to do a whole bunch of different things um, is quite fun. I've had a lot of fun with this one, which is also a doyo, I believe. But um, yeah, you say, they're just four keys, but it's four keys and the volume. And I just have this above my desk usually. Um, I had it in here for something else, uh, but I can control the volume. Even if I have a knob already, and control the volume i could go switch work basically this is just switching works workspaces but it makes it easier for me if i want to jump from one screen to the other because i just want to look at something i don't need to pull my drawer my keyboard drawer out from under the desk so and i'll i'm going to i'm also going to do an in-depth video of programming uh macro pads using via all the doyos are via so i think that's going to help significantly fecker does have some via products it would be nice if they gave the option i think manufacturers need to start moving to the reality that you know okay you want to have close source software that's fine but it needs to also have an option uh for qmk via vial zmk anything that's open source um, there's a growing 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 number of people that are using linux and they don't want to have to just maintain a windows machine just so that they can program their keyboard so anyway, I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys with a sound test of this loaded up with the MT3 Olivetti uh, from Drop, as well as some lubed Akko sponge switches. I do hope that you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions for me for this one or for the other ones uh, so that I can tackle it when I do the macro pad edition video, do let me know in the comments below. But until the next transmission, keep calm and keyboard on.